good morning. Once again, can I have your attention please? Good morning. Good morning right, we have been talking about the mechanism of the production of speech sounds in natural languages. And we have seen that we have a very versatile vocal apparatus that can produce a different variety of or a large variety of different kinds of sounds. We also saw that all speech sounds can be classified into two large classes. One class is called vowels and the other class is called consonants. Vowels and consonants differ phonetically in a very significant manner. All vowels are voiced, oral and unobstructed. That is not the case with all consonants. Consonants may or may not be voiced, may or may not be oral, may or may not be obstructed. And even if they are obstructed or not obstructed, the release of obstruction and articulation differs. We also saw that we describe vowels in different languages according to whether they are produced from the front of the mouth or from the or from the back of the mouth, whether in their production jaws are closed or open, whether lips are rounded or unrounded. On the other hand, we saw that consonants will have to be described by a different parameter. Consonants require three term level of a different kind. We ask and say whether they are voiced or voiceless. Where is obstruction? The place of obstruction or place of articulation and the manner and release of obstruction. What are the three things we look at in the description of consonants? Please close your eyes and tell me. Voiced or voiceless, place of obstruction or articulation and manner of obstruction or articulation. Once again, please tell me what are the three term levels for consonants? Number one, voiced or voiceless. Number two, number three, manner of obstruction. Let us apply it to the English language because you know, uh, fortunately or unfortunately, that is the only language you and I and all of us here know. So, let us take examples from English. These are the sounds in English. Okay? Uh, let us try and describe. Say for example, do not say pa, just say pa. A should not come, you know, in your articulation, otherwise a will make it voiced. If you say pa, then it is voiced, but if you just say pa, it is not voiced. Okay? So, this is pa. Now, is it voiced or voiceless? Voiceless. Where is the place of obstruction? Both lips. So, bilabial, you know, I have said bilabial. Okay, and then what is the manner of release of obstruction? Sudden, sudden explosion. So, it is called plosive. Okay. There is a please write, there is a large class of sounds, is consonant sounds known as What is the characteristic of plosive sounds? All plosive sounds are produced with total obstruction, please write, and sudden release of obstruction. All plosive speech sounds, no matter which language they are in. We in Indian languages, many Indian languages also have lots of plosive sounds. All plosive sounds are produced with number one, total obstruction somewhere in the oral passage and sudden release of obstruction. That is why they are called plosive. English has three pairs of plosive, six. What are they? First is, what, how do we describe it? It is voiceless, bilabial, plosive. So, p as in pin. Next is, b. what is it? B. Okay. Make it plosive, do not add a b. How do we describe it? This is voiced or voiceless? Voiced. Put your finger here. B. 
and just say <laughs> you see the difference ok. Is it voiced or voiceless? Voiced. Where is the place of obstruction? Lips, both lips, so bilabial. What is the manner of release? Sudden, therefore it is plosive. So, we have voiced, bila voiced bilabial plosive b as in bin. Next, t as in tin, okay. T do not say t, say t, just you know, just release, take the tip of your tongue, take the tip of your tongue to the, take the tip of your tongue here, you know, take the tip of your tongue to the alveolar ridge above the upper teeth. Let there be full contact and release it suddenly. That is what you get. Okay. How do we describe it? Is it voiced or voiceless? It is voiceless. Where is the place of obstruction? Alveolar ridge. Therefore, we call it alveolar. And what is the manner of release of obstruction? It's plosive. Okay, go to next. Okay. Can you find your own example rather than copy mine? D in English word as in? Write your own. No, this is mine. You know, take find your own English as 599,000 other words. Okay. Find your own example. D as in? Right. Now, how do you describe it? It is voiced or voiceless? Voiced. Where is the place of obstruction? Okay, lovely. And what is the manner of release of obstruction? Plosive. Then the next pair of sounds in English is k. back of the tongue. Look at the process. Back of the tongue here, you know. This rises and touches the soft palate. Otherwise, you cannot say. K. Okay, back of the tongue rises and touches the soft palate. Flow of air is totally blocked. No air can pass through this passage is blocked and you suddenly release it and you get k, 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 okay. do not add a, ah, do not say ka, just say k. Take the back of your tongue to the soft palate, let there be total contact and suddenly release it, the sound you get is k, as in, give me your own word, kite, as in, king, as in, okay. Now write, is it voiced or voiceless? voiceless. Where is the place of obstruction? Back of the Back tongue of the or velum, therefore velar, you know. Whereas, we said alveolar for t, this is velar. Okay. Velar. What is the manner of release of obstruction? Plosive, lovely. G, you know, as in give, give me your example good, get, go, okay, right. Is it voiced or voiceless? Why? Fairly mechanical, you know, you can, you can say it anywhere, voiced, what is the place of articulation? Wheeler and plosive, okay. Come to another class of sounds. You might recall in the last class I told you that there are some sounds which belong to the class called affricates. In this class of sounds, in this class of speech sounds, there is total obstruction but gradual release. Plosive sounds, total obstruction, but In the plosive class of sounds, there is total obstruction, but sudden release. Whereas, in affricates, we have total obstruction, but what shall we say? Gradual release. Gradual release. 
gradual release. So, you know you have something like friction, not exact friction, but something like friction. That is why it is called affricate, you know, that is why it is called affricate, friction like. You have words for example, you have sounds like in English, not in our languages, no. most of the most in most Indian languages, cha cha is plosive. You know, we do not say cherkha, we do not say chercha. We, we, you know, they, you know they, this is how those people who go to English school, you know, when their Telugu becomes anglicized, they do not say bagunara, they say bagunara, okay. you know, they looks like they are speaking American, you know. But a smart people speak Telugu like Telugu and American like, complete the sentence please, American. Okay. So, you know, in our languages, cha cha ja ja is plosive, but in English, they do not say church, they say church. What do they say? Church. They say bench, rich, cheer, richer, chart, chartered. You know, this is it's a total obstruction and gradual release. Similarly, they have j, you know, as in judge, as in Jew. With Jew, one who lives in the zoo park or in Israel. Jew, not zoo. You know, English has zoo. So, for example, when you go to Hyderabad, you go to Nehru Zoological Garden. You don't go to Nehru Geological Garden. Okay, that zoo comes from the tip of the tongue. That is zoo. But this is j Jew. You know, hard palate, middle of the tongue. Middle of the tongue here. You know, in English, middle of the tongue rises and touches the hard palate and then you slowly release it saying ch. Say it everybody please and if it is voiced then you say ch. That is the difference, okay. that is all the difference. So, how shall we describe it? Please write this is the symbol and you know uh, by the way as a footnote, I hope you have acquired the ability to recognize and write phonetic alphabet. Am I right? Because in the quiz, I am going to give you some text in phonetic alphabet and I will ask you to write it in normal English orthography. Okay, please. So, do have some practice. At least begin writing your name, okay, your SMS to your worst enemy in IPA symbols. Right? Please write it. So, what is it? This is ch as in chin. Have your own example. Do not use my example, please. English word, take an English word. Yeah, as in cheek or as in chick, chicken. Okay, right? Okay. Now, is it voiced or voiceless? Put your finger here and just say, you see, I am just not interested in describing English. I am, you know, my sole job is the institute has told me, please, Shiris Chaudhary, produce some two dozen good phoneticians. Okay. So, feel it here, keep your finger here and say, do you hear any vibration? Okay. Now, say, do you hear any vibration? That is it. So, is it voiced or voiceless? Ch voiceless. Is it where is the place of obstruction? Palate, hard palate. Therefore, you call it palatal, not palatial, palatal. Okay. And what is the manner of release of obstruction? Friction like. Therefore, we call it affricate. So, three term level here is voiceless, palatal, affricate. Okay. Uh, next, write the symbol. Okay. Take your own word, I have you I have given you Jew. Okay. Is it voiced or voiceless? Voiced, palatal, affricate. Okay. Now I am going to make your life a little more difficult than this. I am not going to show you any slides just now, we will come to it later. Let us take this sound.
I will give you the name later. Let us look at this sound. Write the symbol as in English word as in English word ok. How is it produced? It is produced in the following manner. Look at the diagram, look at the organs of articulation, you know lower lip comes close to but does not touch the upper teeth. Are you are we together? Are you with me please? Yes, yes or no, no? Some people in the Kanyakumari region <laughs> seem to be away from me, please. Are we together? Yes. Lovely. That's good to hear that. Okay. Lower lip comes close to the upper teeth but does not touch it. Okay. Right? Please produce this sound. Do not say, do not add other, do not say fa, just say any vibration here? Is it voiced or voiceless? Voiceless. Please write. Where is the place of obstruction? There is, you know, the passage is narrow, there is friction and you hear the friction. You hear Okay. So, where is the place of obstruction? Between lip and teeth. So, the Latin word for lip and teeth would be labio, labio dental. What is the manner of release? Because there is no total obstruction, there is production only with friction. So, we say fricative. When it was friction like, then it was affricate, but when it is there is complete friction, then we say fricative. What do we call it? Entire class, please. What is this word? Fricative. It is not fricative, it is fricative. What is it? Fricative. Once again, what is it? Fricative. It is fricative. Okay. So now we have got the three term level for it. What is it? It is voiceless, levirental fricative. Tell me, what is it? Voiceless, fricative. Fricative. Okay. Let us look at another word. As in, now feel it, you know, feel it here. Is it voiced or voiceless? Voiced. Voiced. Levirental fricative. Correct? Let us take the next pair. So, we call the third, not the third class, you know, the third type. Okay, third class in India gives a very bad impression. You know, looks like, have you, I think you were not around when Indian railway trains had third class compartment. Have you seen? No. You have only seen second class and Fourth class. There was, you know, when I was your age, uh, there used to be an Indian Railways third class compartment, but uh, some socialist minister removed it and put half, about six inches of cushion, uh, not six inches, fewer, some cushion on it. Okay. So, let us not call it third class, let us call it third type. Third type of consonants are called, what are they called? Please give me the Pronounce it, what is it called? Fricative. fricative, not fricative. Many of us in India pronounce it as fricative. It is not fricative, it is fricative. What is it? Fricative. Okay. Let us look at the next uh, example. Look at the symbol carefully. You know it very well, but please remember it. What is that? Theta. Okay. As in, thin, thick, theory, through, thought, think. 
Okay. What happens is you know English is the, the only language known to phoneticians. English is about the only language which has this sound. In our languages, we produce th with complete contact between tip of the tongue here, between tip of the tongue and upper teeth. You know, tip of the tongue rests on the upper teeth, and then we say th, ta, tha, da, dha. Not in English. In English, what happens is there is slight parting, no contact between the two rows of teeth there is opening there and tip of the tongue goes close to it, but does not touch it. And then you say, say it, slight opening between two rows of teeth, let the tip of the tongue go close to it and say, please come, okay, produce this. How do we describe it? Is it voiced or voiceless? voiceless. Where is the place of articulation? Where is the place of articulation? Between two rows of teeth. So, we will call it interdental. Interdental. Okay. Is it produced with or without friction? Is it produced with or without friction? with friction. Therefore, it is fricative. Let us look at next. Okay. This is very easy. You see, uh, for Europeans, Greek and Sanskrit is the source language for technical terminology most of the time. Like we draw from Sanskrit, they draw from Greek and Latin. Okay? So, as in as in this, that, there, those, these, breathe, okay? with, right? Feel it here, keep your finger here and say uh, opening between teeth, do not say da, da is our language. You know, tip of the tongue touches the back of the upper teeth and then we get da, we say ta, tha, da, da. But in English, there is opening between the two rows of teeth and the tip of the tongue goes close to that opening, but does not touch it, then produce do it. So easy, you know, right? Is it voiced or voiceless? Voiced. Same interdental fricative. Look at the next symbol, very, very easy. What is this? As in sip, sin, sit, sat, okay? As in sip, sin, sit, sat, you know, lots of words. This, okay? Miss, right? So, what shall we say? As in, I am sorry, I, please pardon me. I made a very stupid mistake. I did not write the example here. It should be, sorry, I am sorry, sorry. This and we are writing example for as in sit, okay. underline it. Is it voiced or voiceless? It is voiceless. Place of articulation? Place of articulation? No. When you say s, feel it, the tip of your tongue, actually the blade of your tongue rises towards the alveolar ridge. Okay? There is slight expansion of the blade of the tongue. When you say s, 
okay, slight expansion of the blade of the tongue and it rises towards the alveolar ridge. Here is your tongue, okay, is it your tongue I guess, there is slight expansion of the blade moves upward, moves upward towards the alveolar ridge and you get is it voiced or voiceless? It is voiceless. Where is the place of obstruction? Near the alveolar ridge. So, we call it alveolar. Is it produced with or without friction? Is it produced with or without friction? With friction. With friction. So, we call it fricative. This is zzz, as we had zzz, this is zzz, feel it here voiced or voiceless voice very obvious as in zip voiced everything else remains the same feel it here I am giving you a challenging example now okay this is Sh, as in, as in sheep, S H E E P, sheep, or S H I P, ship. The symbol is like an S which has been pulled, okay, stretched, as in ship. Voice to voiceless, sh voiceless. Place of articulation, place of articulation, place of articulation, no, it's, it, you feel it, you see, do not be misled by uh, terminology, feel it, you see, it is the blade of your tongue, keep producing this sound, keep producing is the blade of your tongue which move upwards towards the front of the palate. It moves upwards, is almost the middle of the tongue or the blade of the tongue which moves upwards towards the hard palate, you see, here somewhere. Okay? There is no close contact, but there is extremely narrow passage so that you have friction. You say, Okay. Many of us in, you know, I, in, in my part of the country, I come from North Bihar. So, many people in Nepal, North Bihar, uh, Vanaras region, eastern Uttar Pradesh, that is Assam and Urisa, we do not pronounce sh, we say sh, we do not speak English, we say English. So, there is difference, you know, these two things come from two different places. Lots of people have, you know, variations. If you go to Bengal, in Bengal you do not have s, for that also they say sh. So, they do not take a sip of tea, they take a ship of tea. You know, they do not take rasagulla, they say rasagulla. Okay. You know, each region has its peculiarity, but where does the peculiarity come from? Peculiarity comes from difference in the manner of articulation, place of articulation. So, where is the place of articulation in this case? the blade of the tongue rises towards palate or hard palate and then you know there is friction. So, what shall we write it? Voiceless, now give me the term palatal, lovely. If there is a young phonetician award, I will recommend your name for it. Okay. Voiceless, palatal, what will be the third term? Fricative, please write. Okay. In English, we also have a voiced counterpart for this word. Urdu and French have lots of words, but in English we have. Please note the symbol, please mark it. This is 
as in pleasure, P L E A S U R E, pleasure, or measure, M E A S U R E, measure, okay, or leisure, L E I S U R E, leisure, pleasure, you know, a whole lot of words where S comes between you know vowels and is voiced. Okay? So, this is as in leisure. Okay? Is it voiced or voiceless? Voiced, palatal, fricative. Okay? This is a large class of words in English. In our Indian languages, you know, in many Indian languages, we do not have so many fricatives but English has. English has lots of them. Uh, there is one more. How many did we get? We already got 8, right? English has one more and I will write it here. Uh, English has, uh, let, let me try and write it here. Can you capture it please? Okay. What is this? do not say ha, just say ha, no voicing. Okay? It is not h, it is ha, okay? voiced or voiceless, ha, as in hip, voiced or voiceless, please the class, my friend on the last bench please, voiceless. Then, where is the place of articulation? Pharynx. Therefore, adjective of pharynx would be pharyngeal. Please write pharyngeal. P H P H A R Y N G E A L. And of course, fricative. This is voiceless, pharyngeal, fricative. Okay. Uh, Let us go to the next class. Are we together? Are you, are we together? Are you with me? Is it becoming too difficult to understand? Please be frank, okay? Then I will give you some entertainment, commercial break. Is it okay? Shall we continue? Or shall we take a commercial break? Okay, we will take a commercial break. I will give you the three term level and you will write the symbol. <laughs> Please write the symbol. Close your eyes. Do not look into your friend's notebook, do not look into your own notebook either and with closed eyes write the symbol. Okay? Let me see how many, this is a party game. You see, best of learning has happened when you give a test to yourself. Okay? Did you have an end semester examination in cycle riding uh, or a quiz in eating? Uh, and we have learned all of this skills. Okay? how to do this, how to do hair, you know, how to shave, all of these things. So, give yourself a test. I will tell you the three term level and you will write the symbol. Okay? Ready? Okay, right. Bilavial, sorry, voiced bilavial plosive. Write the symbol. Write the symbol. I will come to your notebook, I will check. Do not worry. Is it this? Voiced bilabial plosive. Is it this? You got full marks. Okay? Next. Listen carefully and do it. You see, this is the, this, you know, this is the best way to learn some of these things through tests, through questioning, checking, making connections, you know. Suddenly you see, I am being cruel with you. Suddenly I am asking your brain to take 44 new terms and 44 into 3, okay. So, you know, so many new terms and terminology I am asking you to write. So, if you do not remember, it is not your fault, it is my fault. 
I am expecting too much from you, but the point is this is life. We have to live, we have to survive. How do we do it? We do it by growing up, by taking more, by retaining it. How shall we retain it? These are the ways, tests. So, you have how many people passed this test? Those who passed, those who failed, please do not raise your hands. Those who passed this test, lovely. This time I want the entire class to pass. Please listen carefully and do it. Voiced palatal affricate. Give me the symbol. Write it on your notebook and then check with mine. Do not look into your other's notebook. Voiced palatal affricate. Please do not look at the board, do not look at anything. Write the symbol on your notebook. Okay, now check with me. Is it this? Yes, sir. Did you get it? Yes, How many people got it? Two, three, four. My God, please do not tell my director, I will lose my job. He said, At this age, Sri Chaudhary, if you cannot get even 10 people to learn your subject, I should better get rid of you. God, it is a pity. Are you guys, did you guys not sleep well last night? Sorry? Quiz. Quiz. Oh my God. I wish I also had quiz, then you would have remembered. Okay, now I will do one thing. I will okay, I'll make it easier for you. I will write uh, the symbol and I will expect you to have the three term level. Is that okay? Yes, sir. Sure? Yes, sir. Lovely. Let us do it. Give me three term level. Write on your note, do not speak, please write. I will give it and then you check with mine, check against mine. Okay. Now, please check voiceless. Did you get it? Raise your hands those who got it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, not bad. Okay. Get it right, both ways you know. You must have the two way connection, symbol to description, description to symbol, to examples. I am going to give you a quiz like this for your end semester examination, please. And do not curse me if you get 0 on 30 or if you get 31 on 30. Okay. Then tell me, I will give you a cake or something. Shall we continue? Commercial break over? Okay. Let us go to the next class. Sorry? Okay. We will continue with this tomorrow and uh, I will expect you to describe Telugu consonants. Please, can you bring it to the classroom? Okay. The description so that you, we can share it with one another. Also get, can I have your attention please? also get symbols and the terminology right. Thank you. Have a good day. Uh